The tone and substance of what Trump said today was just the latest signal that he is clearly trying to mend relations with his party's leaders and quell doubts and anxieties on the part of some of the different party's donors. During his remarks this morning in Detroit, Trump allied himself with the House Republicans on their tax plan just days after he finally came around to endorsing Paul Ryan, the Speaker of the House, ahead of Ryan's primary, which is tomorrow. In an interview with The Washington Post, the Speaker still expressed some concerns about the down ballot races this year, though he was unwilling to frame his election year policy agenda as a way to detach congressional candidates from their presidential nominee. And he seemed to go out of his way to avoid escalating the feud with Trump. So, Tony, Trump has now been on script for about 72 hours. How is the Unity Project, which his campaign does care about, going? It's interesting on script. Doesn't he look so uncomfortable on script? It's like he just, he wants to rip up it's that not script. It's preferred form. It's, it's not. It's not where he excels. Um, look, they are necessary bedfellows. We could talk all we want about, you know, at some point they bail out and down ticket. We say, you know, you want to check and balance in the Congress and the Senate against this Democratic president. Eighty percent of all toss-up Senate elections in the last 10, last 12 years have gone to the presidential winner. So these senators uh, across the border, we all know congressional issues are different, are going to, they're going to make, there's going to be a detente, and it's fine, and it's moving that direction, as you said, typical Republican platform as far as the economy, a little bit of bridge across to let some Ryan issues, um, it's fine, but we all know at any moment it can blow. I think in the end, if he's doing poorly after the first debate, you may see more separation. For now, I think today was a big step. I said weeks ago, as Paul Ryan started un unveiling all these policy proposals, this is ideal for Trump. Trump has no policy proposals. He barely has a policy team. He's got more of one now. Why not just adopt all the House Republican proposals, run as a unity ticket, and stand in harness on policy, which is what Ryan cares about? Did it today on taxes? I wouldn't be surprised if he does it on some of these other issues, like regulation, even like penal reform and, uh, and uh, welfare reform, where Trump, I think, can be perfectly uh, willing to accommodate himself to what Ryan wants. Just like when he put his kind of hypothetical Supreme Court nominees yeah, out there. Right. You know, on, on the granular stuff, he's going to do the meat and potatoes, Republican yeah. stuff, and we're seeing it already. Yeah.